I'm just saying, if they can make a Pixar-like Dragon Quest movie, then they can give Dragon Ball the same treatment. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. A little while ago, I made a video talking about an upcoming Dragon Ball Z fan project that wanted to create or recreate the Dragon Ball world in a more Pixar-like CGI setting, and this anime project was called DBZ Tribute. There was a lot of traction on that video and people asking me if I had any more information about this, and I tried to look for as much information as I could because this project looked extremely promising but just the animation for Krillin alone seemed like this project was gonna be on a next level that may have required a lot more hands on it and a lot more money into it and right now the hype to watch a movie that is about Dragon Ball in a sort of Pixar like animation is everywhere everyone's talking about it a lot of people were fooled by an April Fool's joke created by artist Toa on Twitter where he told everybody that he had some key arts that he was working on for an upcoming Dragon Ball movie directed by Alex Hirsch by Pixar animations and as you guys can tell this shit looks real it looks promising it takes Dragon Ball's original story and applies it to what would be a good story for maybe not Pixar because Pixar is a little bit more family friendly and early Dragon Ball isn't a hundred percent family friendly if you guys remember but if they wanted to create the setting of the movie and the feel of the movie to be more PG then they a hundred percent could because Dragon Ball original Dragon Ball at least in the way that these key arts are showing could be very appealing to children just like when we were kids and we first saw it and could wrap us in to spending our money on a new Pixar project that had Dragon Ball in it. I'm telling you right now, if Pixar dropped a project that looked like this, then they would smash it out of the gate. It would be record-breaking numbers when it comes to the box office. And I'm just in shock right now that they haven't even decided or even thought about going into that direction in the more animated direction, or at least even hinted at it. I think that would work a little bit better than live action. And seeing as how the Broly movie did so well, I think the Broly movie paved the way for having the possibility of more projects that look like this or DBZ Tribute. And honestly, if the Dragon Quest movie went a little bit more like their video games and used that sort of animation that looks like a Toriyama style in that CG playground, well, I'm telling you right now, it would work extremely well. But unfortunately for DBZ Tribute, that's not going to be the one to show us what this animation has to offer the Dragon Ball license because when you go on their Facebook page and unfortunately I missed it originally when I made my video but I found out a few weeks later that this post had dropped and I didn't want to make this video until subsequent time had passed because I had sent emails out to those working on the movie to see if I can get an interview of some kind or if I can ask some questions and have them answered and I didn't get any replies back. So now that a good amount of time has passed, I feel comfortable making this video because at least I can say I tried. And unfortunately, their farewell message reads as follows. Hi everyone, we're very sorry about the radio silence since the Quill teaser release. I think y'all know where this is going. Due to circumstances beyond our control, this is the reality. The project we want to do that we may still do in the future, fingers crossed, demands production quality. Obviously, you guys can see those teasers. This is all production quality. What we learned in producing the teasers is that undertaking the project in our spare time would not give us the results that we want. To produce the short we want in a timely fashion, our artists would need to work on it full time. That's a huge commitment for a lot of people who are doing this in their spare time. And to work full time, they need to get paid, obviously. And to get paid, we need funds. I mean, if I could have 
enough funds to fund this project like extra funds you guys know that i have a lot of stuff to pay for yeah if i had the extra funds i would wholeheartedly support this project in that way the funds are not available at this time dbz does not belong to us and it isn't right for us to raise money without the blessing and support of the dbz owners unfortunately i don't think that'll ever happen that support may become available in the future but not at this time so for now dbz tri tribute has wrapped up or wrapped yeah that fucking sucks. It's a bummer we won't get to show you the short we planned, but we are very, very proud with what we've made, and we are very lucky to have been a part of it. We can't wait until the next chapter. Much love, the DBZ Tribute team. Unfortunately, this is another fan project that is scrapped too soon. You guys know I follow the fan manga scene, and this is basically the equivalent of it for the animation scene. It's something that's unfortunate, but happens a lot. Personally, for me, if I had to tell a DBZ tribute team one thing, I would tell you guys that you guys should have just made this short and been done with it. You guys should have crowdfunded it and been done with it. I mean, the Star Wars Darth Vader movie short film was so successful that Lucasfilm actually reached out to Star Wars Theory and gave them permission to be able to create more shorts for the fan film as long as they followed a strict set of guidelines but at least they could continue to create the story and I know it's a little bit different because Star Wars Theory is making a lot of money from their YouTube channel and probably other sources as well and I don't think these guys are getting funded like that but if they got crowdfunded I think it would have been able to support this film and I think a lot of people would have loved to have supported it i know i would have in this way all in all i'm hoping that at some point we do get some sort of pixar style dragon ball or even live action dragon ball that's done well but only the future will tell this is going to be blackscape signing off take care guys